I don't see a way of bifurcating scientific research. So AI, which you publish almost all of the work you do, I don't see a way that you can sort of say, okay, these countries are publishing to each other and these other countries are publishing to each other. You know, biology, energy, uh, AI, it just doesn't work like that. The idea, the US has thrived intellectually by being at the R&D level a very open country. And that has been to the benefit of the US in terms of things like pharmaceutical companies or uh, software technology companies. And you can't, you know, just carry around little notes to each other. Hey, don't give this to somebody whose grandmother was Chinese. Uh, it doesn't work. Surely, surely, though, that is an attitude that is, bought, you know, you may well be saying the correct thing from the point of view of the world economy, from the point of view of efficiency, but there is a great many, there's quite a lot of evidence that some people are prepared to take that on. You wouldn't have trade wars if people were rational. Well, it'd be interesting to have somebody draw out their bifurcation and try to explain, you know, I'll describe a person to them, I'll describe, you know, Australia, Japan, uh, what side are they saying, you know, which is the open science side? Who's going to go and close all their publishing down uh, and, you know, require that only a small set of people have access to that? AI is very hard to put back in the bottle, and whoever has the open system will so vastly get ahead of whoever uh, tries to not let everybody in the world see what they're doing that you can completely ignore whoever tries to close their system. On that subject, what's your estimation of, of who's ahead in different parts of AI at the moment? Are you one of those people who think that this is an area where China seems to lead the US in some bits? Like Even th th that's kind of a silly thing in my view in terms of what does it mean? I mean, I spent last night uh, three hours at the Microsoft Research Lab in Beijing, which is across the street from Tsinghua University. Uh, a lot of the best AI work in Microsoft is being done in that lab. They publish papers about the work they do. Uh, you know, what is that? Is that Chinese AI? Is that American AI? You know, we gladly pay their salaries, uh, but if we didn't have that publishing approach, you know, those people would go and work somewhere else. Uh, and, and so I, you know, the world is at a certain state of the art in terms of AI. Uh, the companies that fund that in a strong leadership way include Google and, and Microsoft, mm -hmm. but even at universities, uh, they're not far behind whatever the, the latest commercial funded uh, R&D stuff. Maybe rephrase it then, regardless of, regardless of who's funding it, I, I accept both American companies, is there any kind of approximation about which areas you think China is ahead in, which areas you think Europe is ahead in, which areas you think America is ahead in? Um, you know, almost every one of those papers is going to have some Chinese names on it and yeah. some European names and some American names on it. Even the stuff that comes out of our, we have a big lab in Cambridge in the UK, and God forbid there's, you know, Asian people in that lab. Uh, <laughs> It's incredible how these people are mixing up and working with each other. You know, who, who allowed this to happen? 